Hello, Scribe. Welcome to another emergency podcast where we give quirky yet relatable scenarios you might run into and things you can do to help you reach even more all-star Scribe status. No matter what location you're at, remember the takeaway points from these podcasts are to hopefully help you in tricky Scribe situations. Make sure you tune in. Today's emergency. A 67-year-old male arrives to the ED after a day of fishing with the chief complaints of head and back pain. He tells your provider that the last fish he hooked was a huge one, at least 6 feet and a whopping 250 pounds. When your provider quips, let me guess, it got away. The patient cracks a toothy grin and proudly states, this ain't no ordinary fish tail. He claims that he almost threw out his back trying to get the hook out and nearly fell into the water during the struggle. He then takes off his straw hat, revealing a large metal hook firmly embedded in his scalp and proclaims, I'm quite the catch, don't you think? As your provider takes a closer look and asks the nurse to get some equipment to prepare for the foreign body removal, you are anticipating the physical exam findings and searching for just the right place to document the injury. Your provider starts giving you the findings with, examination of the head reveals. Now, as you run through the EHR, looking for the head section, you realize that your options are limited. You only see constitutional, eyes, ears, nose, mouth and throat, cardiovascular, respiratory, gastrointestinal, genitourinary, musculoskeletal, skin, neurologic, psychiatric, and finally, hematologic, lymphatic, and immunologic. Now, these organ systems account for everything a comprehensive examination would cover, and while you're used to documenting a full physical exam, you're at a loss for where to document this catch of the day. You realize that the body areas were left off the template. Thinking critically, you remember that body areas can be more accurately documented under specific organ systems depending on the findings. Specifically, the head, including the face and scalp, may fall under skin, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and throat. The neck and back is usually covered by musculoskeletal findings. Chest findings are commonly under the respiratory system. Abdominal findings are documented under gastrointestinal. Genitalia, groin, buttocks are found in the genitourinary system, and each extremity may have findings specific to the musculoskeletal, skin, neurovascular, or even cardiovascular systems. For a lower acuity patient, it is acceptable to mix and match organ systems and body areas, but keep in mind for complex patients, there needs to be at least two findings from eight or more organ systems. After removing the pesky hook, this fine fisherman was given back his hook, line, and sinker, plus a tetanus shot, then released from the ED with a tail to put in the record book. Little details like what we covered today make a huge difference for our providers and healthcare in general. Make sure to catch the next podcast for another emergency. Just make sure not to hook yourselves by accident.